Good primitives. All right, so this cube represents the perfect primitive here in Maya. Go to Create, go to Polygon Primitives, and uncheck Interactive Creation. Make sure that it's off. Now, anytime that you click on the cube, it just plops down into the center of the scene and is a perfect cube. We're going to be making every primitive out of this cube. Okay, And the reason we do this is because the primitives within Maya, especially like the ball, has an extraordinary vertice at the very top and yields pretty nasty results when you go to sculpt on it, map it, whatever, blend it between objects. It yields a lot of trouble with that triangle at the top. Same with the cylinder. This is bad. How do I know it's bad? Well, let's see. Does that look like a good shape to you? Right. So, making a cube, that's pretty easy. It's already done for you. Shift D. How do you make a highly versatile sphere that you can sculpt on? Mesh smooth. And if you want more polygons, G, which now equals a nicely formed sphere. Now this sphere is good for modeling, but it isn't good for dynamics because uh, it's not 1,000% round <laughs> or 100% because there's nothing. But it's not 100% round. It's a, it's a little awkward in the in the fact that it's it's got the extraordinary vertice here now, and that yields. Even if you take this and smooth it out a few more times, it's a little uneven. Great for modeling, though. Okay, Shift D. The cylinder, how's that formed? The right way. Face, face, extrude. And then insert edge loop tool. I got to go in this and reset it because I have it as a weird setting. So I'll hit reset tool. Insert edge loop here and here. Now, if you go back to object mode, click on it and go mesh smooth, you now have a very well formed cylinder that doesn't have any triangles at the top. And no matter how many times you smooth it, always yields good results. So that's the name of the game is if it can be subdivided and still maintain its shape, it's a good object to model with. Shift D. I don't use this shape very often, but it's nice to know how to make it. So all you do is have to take the vertices at the very top, scale them together, okay. It needs to be round, so that would mean you take the bottom and extrude it, then off click, and you insert an edge loop here. And depending on how sharp you want it, let's say, take these vertices and scale them in just a little bit more. Then insert an edge loop here. Okay, let's take that now and mesh smooth it. Again, G on the keyboard for last command, and there we go, we got that shape. This one's made out of a whole bunch of triangles. This one's all quads. Okay, plain, um, yeah. We could say that this is almost the only other primitive besides a cube that makes sense quad-wise. Torus is all quads to begin with, but it's nice to know how to make it. Shift D. D is in dog. 
grab your face, extrude it, scale it to the center. Delete it. Delete all the other faces until you have this. Grab that, extrude it, blue arrow up. Depends how thick you want it. Grab it in object mode, mesh smooth. And there it is. Again, mesh smooth one more time, and you got a torus. Great for chain. Okay, next one, Shift D, a pyramid that is not smooth. Again, not a shape that I use very often, but it's nice to know how to make it. This is all just really good practice, you know what I mean? Like, when it comes down to practice, 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 uh, if, you're, if you're new at Maya, these are the things that you should be kind of practicing on. All right, this one's a little bit different. So it has to maintain its shape on a smooth. Insert edge loop. So I insert an edge loop here, 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 and here. And here, and here. Now, we'll have to talk about uniformity in the next lesson, but if you mesh smooth this, you'll have this. And there we go. Another object I make all the time is a brer. I call it. It's a smoothed out square. And that's just insert edge loop around all the sides. And mesh smooth it. That's a nice shape to start with on some inorganic objects. All right, so these are the new primitives that sh I wish I could put up here, but other than that, that's how you make them using box modeling techniques. Enjoy. Let's go on to the next video.